To figure out why Constantinople was important and beneficial for the Ottoman Empire, we must assess several points, such as strategical importance and political importance. Constantinople was important strategically to the Ottomans for the expansion of their empire, which was also able to grow rapidly because other countries were weak and unorganized, and also because the Ottomans had advanced military organizations and tactics for that time. To further illustrate, when the Ottomans took the city, it was a symbol of the rise of Islam and the fall of the center of Christianity, making the Ottoman Empire the most powerful in all of southeastern Europe and marking the end of the Eastern Roman Empire. The strategic importance of Constantinople also included trade. The capital of Constantinople gave the Byzantine Empire significant strategic advantage, as it was right on the trade routes between Europe and Asia, as well as the Mediterranean and Black Sea. In addition to that, it was the center of the Byzantine trade and culture and was incredibly diverse. Taking down the Byzantine trade center significantly benefited the Ottomans as it led to the fall of the Byzantine Empire. This is because the essential component of success and expansion of the Byzantine Empire revolved around trade. As we saw from other units like the Mongols, for example, trade can help economy flourish. With that comes power and the expansion of land, which was very crucial for Constantinople. Trade helped them create connections with others, with other, which are needed for any empire to grow stronger. Constantinople's strategic geographical position makes the city very easy to defend by land while also being able to defend the strategic waterway as it was surrounded on three sides by water and encased in a dense layered system of walls. As seen from how they were able to defeat the Byzantine Empire reflects upon their strong army. Therefore, when combining both the, the geographical position and the army means that they had a strong defense system. Constantinople's strategic position between the east and the west was most beneficial for, for the Ottomans as it allowed them to grow rich of the Silk Road trades and forced the Western Europeans to seek alternate trade routes to the east, like when the Mongols reopened the Silk Roads later on, which helped strengthen their empire. Some may argue that because the Ottomans caused Western Europe to seek alternate trade routes while the Portuguese sailing around Africa and the Spanish running in the, into the Americans, with the new routes, Ottoman importance declined, which is one of the many counterpoints. However, the Byzantine Empire, being at the crossroads of different cultures, meant that they could blend together with different cultures to form a new culture. Today, we refer, we refer to that culture as Greco-Rome. Greco-Roman culture is a blending of traditions that are both ancient Greek and Rome. And because of that, the Roman culture evolved over several centuries as they adapted and modified various cultures and conquered their lands and people. And now for a more specific example, the Byzantines enjoyed public baths and swimming pools, much as the ancient Romans did, and Latin was the official language of the government. However, most Byzantines spoke Greek. Over time, the empire became less Roman and more Greek. That rich blending of cultures led the Byzantines to develop one of the most advanced civilizations in the world between 500 and 1200 CE, which put the Ottomans at an advantage as they conquered the most advanced civilization at the time. For, from this, we can see continuity over time as the strategic importance of Constantinople, known today as Istanbul, is still intact. Because of its unique location and vigorous market economy, as it also provides certain leverage for international influence. From this, we can see change over time. That is because today trade routes have expanded and there are more te modern techniques that involve a more planned out and organized approach with planes and discovery of new routes. The East and the West no longer need Istanbul's strategic location for trade. What brought the Ottoman Empire to its peak of power was the political importance of Constantinople which was politically significant because it was the capital of Roman Empire, which meant that if Mehmed could take Constantinople, he could become the successor to the Roman Emperor, which was of enormous symbolic significance. That is because the fall of the city removed what was once a strong shield for Christian Europe against Muslim invasion, enabling 
Ottoman expansion into Eastern Europe without interruption. Not only that, but it also had many other beneficial factors, such as geopolitics, which gave the Ottomans an advantage. One of the examples of how it did that would be that it left Italy exposed to Ottoman attacks, meaning they could further expand their empire. Also, once Constantinople fell, so did the Byzantine Empire, which contributed to the decline of the great cities of Genoa and Venice. As mentioned before, the Ottomans thr- as mentioned before, the Ottomans thrived and expanded their lands through surrounding weak cities. The fact that the Ottomans were able to take down cities that were considered one of the strongest could have given them military benefits. As we learned about the Mongols, one of their many strategical tactics were how they spread fear. Therefore, they were able to win many battles before they had even begun. And as the Ottoman Empire was established before the Mongols, I believe that the Mongols could have gotten that tactic through the Ottomans. In my opinion, I thought that the inquiry process has been very helpful and helped me understand the topic very well. However, I felt kind of overwhelmed at times, but because of past process journals and inquiry questions and writings, I have managed to like deal with them. So, and I knew that in the end, everything would work out. However, uh, I had to like uh, fit research and like find lots of things about the topic. Uh, and not in a direct way so I had to like research multiple other things that could connect with it which is something I did in multiple of my uh, inquiry journals and that's why it was very easy easier this time however uh, one thing I would change about my process journal is also time management which is something I struggled with in the past process journals however I could tell that it is getting better also I would consider this to be a success as it's my final um, process journal. I wanted to create something creative and this is why I decided to create a kind of draw my life edition of uh, explaining the benefits that come from the conquering of the Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire.